For this 90s sports nostalgia video, I want to talk about Michigan State being wide receiver university in the 90s, more specifically from 1989 to 2000, and I admit I cherry picked those years in which I'll get to more as this video progresses, but moreover, when you think about college football programs that produce NFL talent, Michigan State doesn't really come to mind. Now I understand the Spartans, they were tremendous in the mid 60s and have produced their fair share of NFL players. But in reality, there are several other programs that would rank ahead of MSU in terms of being a football factory in regards to producing NFL talent. In addition, back in the 90s, the Big Ten had this perception as this physical brand of football, while teams in the South, especially Florida teams, had this perception that they had the speed, the athleticism, which makes Michigan State being wide receiver U from 1989 to 2000 pretty interesting and amazing. So to begin, Andre Risen, played four years at Michigan State as a wide receiver, was drafted in the first round 22nd overall in 1989 by Indianapolis, and had a nice first season as he was second in the Offensive Rookie of the Year honors to Barry Sanders, but then Risen was traded to Atlanta and put up incredible numbers. Perhaps some of this has to do with the run and shoot offense, but anyways, Risen's numbers were putting him on the path toward Canton as these were outstanding wide receiver stats back then. However, Ryzen signed as a free agent with Cleveland and wasn't the same for the last six seasons of his career. Bad Moon Ryzen would only get one more 1,000 yard season, but nonetheless Ryzen, he finished his 12 year NFL career with 743 receptions, 10,205 yards, and 84 touchdowns. Next, Courtney Hawkins, drafted in the second round in 1992 by Tampa Bay. The 5'9 Hawkins had a productive 9 year NFL career with the Bucks and Steelers. For two seasons, Hawkins had over 60 receptions, which were good numbers back then, and had over 40 receptions three years, as these were for teams that, let's just say, weren't wide receiver friendly systems. Onto 1996, where Musin Muhammad is drafted in the second round by Carolina, Muhammad had a productive 14 year career and perhaps deserves a spot in the Hall of Very Good. Muhammad led the NFL in receptions in 2000 with 102 receptions and then led the NFL in 2004 in receiving yards with 1,405 and led the NFL that same year with 16 receiving touchdowns. For his career, Musin Muhammad recorded 860 receptions, 11,438 yards and 62 touchdowns. Next notable former Michigan State wide receiver to mention is the very underrated Derek Mason who was drafted in the 4th round in 1997 by the Tennessee Oilers who became the Tennessee Titans 2 years later. But anyways, Derek Mason you could also say deserves a spot in the Hall of Very Good, but during his first three years, Mason only started two games and wasn't getting a lot of targets, but was returning some punts and kicks. But then Mason would go on to have eight 1,000-yard campaigns during his next 10 seasons with Tennessee and Baltimore. During his 15-year NFL career, Mason would total 943 receptions, 12,061 yards, and 66 touchdowns. Lastly, there's Plaxico Burris, drafted in the first round, 8th overall by the Steelers in 2000. Burris, who may be the most well-known wide receiver on this list, was 6'5 with big playability. During his first 9 seasons, Burris recorded 4,000-yard seasons, was 12 yards away from a 5th 1,000-yard season. But after those 9 seasons, Burris, he would not play football for the next 2 seasons due to violating New York's gun laws. Afterward, Burris would play 2 more seasons, but wouldn't be able to produce like he did in the past. Plexico Burris ended his career with 553 receptions, 8,499 yards, and 64 touchdowns. Burris seemingly would have been another Michigan State wide receiver who recorded 10,000 yards if that off-the-field situation did not transpire. So from 1989 to 2000, here are the Michigan State Spartans who made an impact in the NFL from the wide receiver position. And that's an impressive list at a position, an 11-year period, and during this period, I like to call Michigan State wide receiver you. And I'm going to talk about another school shortly. But if you have another school you'd like to mention, please do so in the comment section. But anyways, an impressive list I think. Nowadays, Ohio State, Alabama, and USC, they're seemingly producing wide receivers at an incredible rate. But back then, talent from my point of view, I think was more spread out. But now I want to show the list of notable wide receivers from Miami from 1989 to 2000. Now some might say that Michigan State also had Mark Ingram and Charles Rogers, who was so incredibly talented. But if I included those two former MSU greats, then I would have to include the years 1987 to 2003. And now you take a look at those names of those wide receivers from Michigan State and the wide receivers from Miami. But if you look at these lists, I think most people would say that Miami would have the edge. So admittedly, I cherry picked the years because to me, it's impressive, interesting, and surprising that perhaps Michigan State could be labeled as wide receiver U from 1989 to 2000. Thanks for your interest in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to support the channel through Patreon, link below. Thank you so much.